yo, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B, and you already know what it is. It's another episode of the Jess B Show. Today is a different episode, because I don't think we talked about this yet. But today, we're going to talk about some money. We're going to talk about some financial literacy up in here, y'all, because Lord knows, since this pandemic been hitting, y'all, everybody either balling for now, that's what I'm going to call it, everybody either <laughs> balling for now, or we broke as a joke. It is what it is. But it ain't going to be what it is forever, man. So today I want to—I I decided to bring on a buddy of mine, Donald Cunningham, man. He, he, he knows, I, I'm not going to say he know all about finances, but this is what he does for a living. So he's here to teach us a few things about some financial literally, literacy, y'all, so we can get our money together and keep it tight. What's going on with your brother? Uh, not much, man. I'd like to uh, thank you for having me, brother. Uh, you're very you, welcome, man. man. Appreciate you, bro. You're doing your thing, though, man. Keep it up, man. Definitely, thank you, thank you man. I yes, definitely sir. appreciate it, man. Yes, hey, man, be, be, before I let you do your introduction and, and, okay. and explain to the people who you are, first off, I was just on your page. I'll be stalking people's pages. I'm guilty of it. It is what it is. I'm a podcaster. I got to. Got you, got you, got you. <laughs> but I seen that you um that you made an accomplishment. You hit a milestone yes, just recently, brother. Yes, so sir. I just wanted to yes, say sir. congratulations to you for making sales director, I believe it was, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. man. Congratulations to you Appreciate for making it, that accomplishment, brother. Good job. So Appreciate now that you're here, brother, give know, the right? little give the people a little bit about who Mr. Cunningham is. Oh man, Mr. Cunningham is a super excited individual, man. Uh, that's excited about helping families with financial literacy, man. Uh, you know, I was never born uh, with that silver spoon in my mouth. You know, never sat at the dinner table talked about finances. So. Uh, I just started to learn it, man, and then see the need. You know, I needed it bad. So I just imagine if I needed it bad, there's 70 million people out there that actually need it as well. So uh, just a little bit about me. My name is Donald Cunningham. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. I uh, moved out here to Vegas in 2001. Uh, you know, worked here for a minute, worked a corporate job. Um, four years ago, I started my uh I started my company, uh, it's called DSC Financial Services. I partner up with a, a financial firm called Freedom Equity Group. So that's how I actually got started four years ago, man. Um, I got licensed, I, I'm a life insurance agent. So, you know, uh, I started out with that. Uh, I'm licensed in seven different states, uh, Nevada, Missouri, Louisiana, Texas, uh, North Carolina, Wyoming, and California. So, uh, you know, I'm licensed in these states, man, to where I can help anyone dealing with life insurance. If you're familiar with that, if you're not familiar with that, I'll get you. Uh, so I started, you know, I've been out here since 2001. Uh, I've been married, man. I'm married. I've been married for 25 years as of, as of today. Um, I got nine kids. I got three biological and I adopted six boys. So that's what was really driving me drove me to credit you know i got three boys i mean i got six boys man now i need to educate them on how money works you know what i'm saying um, so i'm gonna try to be that guy that I, I that i needed it back then when i was their age you know what i'm right, saying so, right so that's one of my whys why i do what i do and credit man man you know I feel it. Hey, man, let, let, let me, all day, but. Yeah, let me stop you real quick, bro. I got to give you some props, bro. You said 25 years of marriage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That's. Ooh. I appreciate that. Hey, that shows up. Hey, that tells a lot about you as a man, period. Yeah. 25 years. <laughs> you can last um, two, hey, you yeah. can last 25 years, man. You can go through anything. Right. You know oh, bro. I don't think I'm going to last 25 months. <laughs> You know, no, that's good, man. And then you said though. three biological, and then you adopted six boys. Yes, sir. Yes, wow. Sir. How was that experience, brother? Man, it was it was different. You know what I'm saying? You know, I told my wife, we tried three times. I guess three strikes, we was out. Right. So, you know, we like, okay, man, we got to get a boy, man. So our intentions was to get one. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how the other five came. They came just like that, but. But our intention was to get one man, and uh, and that led to another. We actually went down. We uh, actually adopted them here in Nevada from Chow mm -hmm. Haven. Okay. So we went out Chow Haven, man. We have my first three. I got them when they were um, 
my first son, I got him. He was two weeks old. Okay. My second son, he was six months old. Oh man. Okay. My third son, we went to the hospital right after she had him. <laughs> so he was like not even a week old. Right. Just, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yep. And then, and, and you know, now they're they're the, my three oldest is fifteen, fourteen, and and thirteen. Wow. So. Yeah, wow. and now I just recently adopted three last year. Actually, this month had been a year now that I adopted them. Uh, and it was, it was a set of twins and a little brother. So right wow. now they're uh, 10. The set of twins is 10, and then I got – and their little brother is 9 years old. So, wow. yeah, man, my house, is, my house is full. I'm surprised they ain't making no ruckus. So, you know, I'm up here, I'm up here praying silently. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> bro, you are a superhero, bro, for real. Yeah. That's Absolutely. that's crazy, man. I, I hey, from yes, man sir. to man, brother. That's I give you so much respect. That is crazy. That that's some superhero that. shit. For real, for real. All right, man. That. Let's let's get. Oh, hold on. We gotta come and let's see somebody say something. Oh, okay. hold on. Uh, they said whoop whoop. What's up, fellas? Whoever that is, I'm sorry. You probably come in off of my regular Facebook page, and I can't see your name. But thank you. Whoop whoop. What's happening? What's happening? But uh, oh, you know what? Whoop whoop. I know who that is. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. that's Big Matt. That's our boy. Matt. That's Big Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, but let let me let me just say this, man. Again, I just want to say congratulations, brother. That's super dope, man. Um, hats off to you, brother. If my hair was a little bit better, you know, I'll give you a real hats off. Hey, but yeah, like that that's head. insane, man. I'm pretty <laughs> proud of you about that. So let's get right into the nitty gritty of it, brother. Yes, Tell sir. the people, bro. I, I have to know. Um, a lot of people think they know what these what credit is. Uh -huh. Um, but then they treat it like as if it's just something you can just whatever, bro. So what is yeah. credit and how important is credit? Man, credit is what is credit, man. Credit is your life. You know, when you think about it, uh, cause they base credit off so many different aspects of your life, you know, man. Um, you know, I come to find out, man, they go based off, uh, they, are, they, are the hiring companies, when they look for you to hire you, they run your credit. So they go back, they they check your credit. Uh, of course, car insurance check your credit. Yeah, you know it, it just a lot of stuff that you wouldn't think that like man life insurance. You know, check your credit. They want to make sure you, uh, you know you're a risk. You know, see how risky you are. You know, make sure you're not a risk right. factor. You know, because credit tells you how risky is that person is and how responsible they is. So, and a lot of people don't know that man, um, and it's so important, man. Uh, what is credit? How important credit is mad credit. You know, I'd rather, to be honest, just be, man, I'd rather have an 800 or 850 credit score than money. Right. You know, okay. It's, it's that important to where, because you can't even, you can't purchase a home with cash. Right. That's true. Unless you, you get lucky, credit. boy. So, Not yeah. all of us get lucky. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> most, most people, <laughs> I'll put it that way. Most people can't buy no house with cash. It go based off the credit. Right, you know, man. A car, of course, you can get a car with cash, but it's easier with credit. You know, and credit makes a, a huge difference. As opposed to, I remember, man, when I was younger, I remember when I experienced when I had good. When I was at the time, I had good credit, and I, right. I firsthand experience where I actually, I worked at a credit union. I mean, I didn't work at a credit union, but I had a, I was involved with a credit union. I went in, applied for the loan. They just gave me a piece of paper. You know, I'm like, let's see. Huh. And it just say you approve for this amount. So and, and it still didn't dawn on me like that's good. You know, that's good, bro. So all I had to do was go to a dealership. I went to a nice dealership. Okay. Just gave them this paper. And they say, go pick which cars you want out of this. I'm like, What? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as opposed to, okay, sir, we're gonna have to uh um, you have to come up with a thousand to three thousand down. Right. You know, that's that's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 man, it's amazing how when right. you when you dive deep into how important credit is, man. So uh and right now I'm in the process of purchasing the home, so I'm okay. more attentive, I'm more intended to my credit. So now I'm watching it. I'm I'm right. credit conscious, you know what I'm saying? So back then I wasn't, but now I'm credit conscious. So now you know I'm learning the tricks, the ins and the outs. And then everything that I'm learning, the ins and the outs of how credit work, I'm, I'm definitely sharing. 
You know I like I mean? that. I like that, man. Let me let me let me just say this. He said credit conscious. He used to not man. be credit conscious, but now yeah. he is credit conscious. So to all of the viewers and listeners out there, understand that you need to be credit conscious. Learn what credit is. Learn what it do. You feel me? Yeah. Instead of instead of just going and think I want to be a baller and just choo, 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 choo. That yeah. don't always work. Everybody yeah. ain't got 300 and some bands sitting around yeah. to buy a home. If you want to be able to buy a home and do it the uh, the logical way, yeah. make sure your credit is on point, brother. Uh, hands down. Cre yeah. Be, be uh, credit conscious. I like that. I really like that. Yeah. So Absolutely. let me ask you, and I, and I know this is different from before because in, in the past, you know, like the 500s was like a bad credit score. Has that changed? Like what, what is a bad credit score in 2020? Well, actually, actually, the credit score starts at 300. Okay. <laughs> 300 to 850. So, yeah. <laughs> so, if, if, now, if you run your credit and they're telling you you ain't got no score, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that ain't good. You know what I'm saying? Like zero. Actually, actually, my wife was uh, on, on all three of her credit bureaus. Only two of them was reading the credit number. The other one was a ghost. They called them. A, they call it a ghost. You got zero, which okay. means you ain't. There's nothing that you have reporting to that credit bureau. So it's kind of like, you know, I, you know, no credit is no credit is still like bad credit in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then that's you know, people are like man, I'm good. I don't got no credit. I said, man, that's still not good. You know, you know. So there got five factors uh, to create your credit score. Is a, you know credit calculation so this is how they calculate your credit score it comes with five factors one of them is payment history which is 35 percent of your your credit score okay so it up. And then we have uh the amount used which is your utilization that's 30 percent that adds up 30 percent of your total credit score then we have the length of your credit you know how long how, how you know um i was just to share with someone else the other day uh how important not to close your credit card. You know, if okay. you close your credit card account, that's, that's a factor of your credit. You know, you, you want to keep it active. You don't have to use it, but the longer you have it in there, the better it reads on your credit score. It's good to have length. Um, I didn't know that, man. Yeah, I didn't it, know that cl it, closing it, your credit card was yeah, bad. Closing your credit card, is, is it, it, it affects your credit real, you know, heavily. Okay. Heavily. Ooh. Yeah, Thanks so for telling me, brother. Woo! If any, if anything, <laughs> keep it open or keep it active. You know, you don't have to use it, but keep it open and keep it active. You know, that way you still have something. You don't have no negative in your credit. You know, okay. you your credit. So uh, the next one, uh, new credit is ten percent. You know, okay. whatever you go out and get new credit, and then the other ten percent is types of credit used for as uh, installment loans, car loans. Uh, so all this calculates up. And based on how your performance or how they grade you on in each of these five depart, five categories, that's how they tally up your credit score, your FICO score. Mm, wow, man. I'm learning so, something new every day. And another thing, one of the most important things I just recently found out was um, on your, you know, when we make our payments, if you're 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days late, man, that affects your credit score. It'll take your credit score down up to 100 points. And the one time you're late, it would take three payments, three on time payments to make up for that one. To make up for that one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so when, when people get a hold of that and know that, uh, you know, it'll change the game. Okay, cool, man. If my payment due on the fifth, you got 30 days to make that payment before it be reported late. So you got an extra 30 days to right. make your payment. So just don't go over that courtesy. You know that courtesy day, so don't let it right. get to thirty days. So uh, a lot of people didn't know that, man. So uh, people wow. just be like, "Forget it, I ain't panicking, I ain't panicking." I mean, it's going to definitely affect your credit score. Now you got to right. now you got to make three, you know, good payment, three on time payments to make up for that, man. And I was like, "That's mind blowing, yeah, man." Sheesh. I ain't even know all of that, brother. And then you kind of already answered my next question because my <laughs> next question was, "Is no credit?" better than good credit you know mm -hmm. now i i did yeah. learn this answer as a younger as a younger man like exactly. uh well what i was told was uh no credit is worse than um wait yeah that no credit was not better than good credit because yeah. no credit is pretty much equal to having like bad credit 
<laughs> yeah, it, absolutely. Because you don't have nothing revolving. So it's like, you know, if you're trying to go accomplish or if you're trying to go acquire something based okay. off that you need your credit to be ran, you know, if you don't have no credit, it's, you know, it's definitely going to hurt you. Okay. So I will always, I will always tell like, like my clients, man, I always tell them so a lot of them don't need their credit repaired, but uh, mm -hmm. some of them need uh, just to build their credit. So I would tell them to go purchase like a security card. Okay. And that's, and that's so simple, man, that anybody can do it, whatever bank you with, you right. know, I offer and it's free, you know, uh, nice. you can get a secure card and just put money on it and just use it as if it was a credit card, okay. you know, but when, whatever you put on there, never go under the 30, 30%. I mean, never go over the 30%, you know right. what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> you know, rule of thumb, never go over 30% of what your, uh, your credit limit is, you know what right. I'm saying? So when it's reporting, it's reporting good. I'm like, okay, he's, he, you know, he's more responsible, right. you know, he, he manages his, his credit. You know, so it's just kind of like, you know, rule of thumb. And these no rule problem. of thumbs, man, works real good, bro. Right. You got to pay attention yeah. to them because, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so what I did, I'm, I'm I'm like a do it first leader, man. So a okay. lot of stuff, I do it myself mm -hmm. and just so I can have the experience. And then right. I share it, you know. I, I, I don't even tell my family until I start doing it. And then I see it works and how it works. And then I start sharing, it, you know. Yeah. So it that makes sense, brother. It makes sense, man. Hey, so rule of thumb to the viewers. Pay y'all bills. <laughs> pay y'all bills. Pay y'all bills. Now, I'm going to just say this. You know, if you don't pay your bills, make sure you go holler at my boy Donald over here. Yes, but sir. Pay, but pay your bills, y'all. You know what yeah. I mean? Like like he said, you you even though you know that you get that 30 day, you know what I mean? Don't don't let it get to that 30 day. When you get like 20 day, it's time to go make that payment. Or yeah, your credit's so going to shoot down by like 100 points. We don't want that problem, y'all. Especially yeah. us black folks. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> got to get your credit up. You got to get your yeah. credit up. Pay attention to all of the rule of thumbs. It definitely matters, man. Um, what, uh, Remind me at the end, brother. I got a gift for you. Um, okay. I actually have... Uh, one of my partners actually commented right here, Sean Lachey. Um, okay. This is my buddy right here. He owns 10K Cards. It's actually yeah. a digital business card, and yeah. we would definitely like to hook you up and get you a uh, get you a link with some business with some yeah. digital uh, business cards, man. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. explain the details yeah. later on. Yeah, it'll, bro. Um, it's it's freaking awesome, bro. Wait till yeah. you hear about it. But okay. what, another avenue that I wanted to jump into, especially because we're here in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, if, if people aren't aware that, that, that little rule that they have right now with the evictions, uh -huh. that's about to come to an end. Yes. If it, it hasn't already, it's coming to an end. And yeah. so many people are going to get ev evicted because they failed to, to continue to at least try to make payments during all of this pandemic. And you got to yeah. remember, this is not just Las Vegas. This is globally. Yeah. So it's going to be a crisis all over again. The economy has already crashed and it's going to continue. It's going to get worse and worse if people don't start jumping on their shit right now. It is what it is. So yeah. I want to ask you, brother, how, what can we do? You know, um, and, and I'm willing to send people your way or whatever. But mm -hmm. what can we do to help the people with evictions? Um, like, yeah, yeah, like what? Because it's going to be a problem out here. Yeah. I would advise them, like I said, if they can pay it, pay some on it. Because, you know, uh, these uh, management companies, man, they're more lenient, you know, right now. And man, I, I, I swear, man, if this wasn't the perfect time to get your credit repaired, I don't know when it is. Right. Because a lot of people now, especially the ones that lost their job there, a lot of them is using their credit. You know, using their credit up or, or just, just abusing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I seen the shift in my business as far as individuals needing their credit repaired. It didn't kicked up, and like I said, their recent promotion, man, it, it just didn't, it just didn't kicked up the last two months. Uh, now, for us, I would definitely encourage them, man, just to pay 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 their rent, man. Just, right. just, <laughs> just pay it. But you know what? They do have programs out there that uh, actually help them to uh, recover with their uh, with their uh, rent. Tell but me about it, brother. It's, it's 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 so many programs out there, man. That's helping people, individuals that's uh, having challenge paying their uh, rent. 
it's mm-hmm. companies out there to help them. I personally know a person that actually went and received help and got help. Okay. okay. So it's 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 help out there. You know, do you just, guys offer any services that has to do with evictions? No, we don't. What I do is what I mainly do is just focus on the personal credit. Okay. You know, they, they I, I repair anyone personal credit, and then I show them how to build it. You okay. know, as we as we tear that as we tear that sucker down, I'm gonna show them how to build it up. You know what I'm saying? So, so you you would be able to help with like take it removing evictions. Off yes, of your absolutely. Okay. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. For as the leading off, that was you talking about, correct? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We actually deal with uh, uh, removing uh, evictions. Absolutely, okay. we actually removing evictions. Um, I actually had a personal client got their bankruptcy removed. I have a nice. personal client that got their student loans removed. So these nice. are are government loans that you know a lot of people thought they couldn't be removed, but. Mm-hmm. I personally had, you know, actually, you know, to be, I'm gonna be transparent. Actually, it was my wife. She got her student loans removed and a bankruptcy off. So, nice. uh, yeah, it, it, it's possible. And and um, the program, that, the company who we with, uh, UCES, man, what they do is uh, they dig into the person credit and find out, get all the negative that's hurting their credit, and that's what they challenge. So even if it's a student loan, if it's an eviction they they challenge it you know they dig in and go in and, and do their best to get it removed uh and even sometimes like they did my wife they uh resourced her out they actually uh resource uh, resourced her to another company it's mm-hmm. called a student loan um uh reimbursement program student loan you know uh deletion program some type of uh but it's a company that they were they delete uh her student loans man and that was uh nice i think it was called a student loan forgiveness program there you go oh okay yeah i think i know what you're talking yeah. about yeah so and that helped her out tremendous man her credit score shot up tremendous once they removed it so eviction not a problem yeah awesome eviction is not a problem cool cool so big shout out to my boy donald right here uh like he said man if you guys do have to go ahead and deal with your eviction and then you're looking for ways to remove it from your credit history um that is another service that they do offer they help also they also help with student loans um bankruptcies whatever the case may be holla at my boy donald cunningham and he will definitely take care of you now my next thing i want to talk about this next thing is big as well brother this right right here i wanted to really go in because you specifically said we was going to talk about how money works so let me say this i know millions of people well not personally millions of people i know thousands (laughs) of people though maybe let's say hundreds for (laughs) sakes you know what i mean yes of people that Think that they know how money works, brother. Uh-huh. They get the money. They got shoebox money. They got money in the bank. Checkings account. It should be elsewhere, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> you know. Um, and then one thing, and, and I'm not throwing shade to any uh, individuals out there that's watching or whatever, or people that know individuals, but don't let this stimulus check stuff. And these little uh, loans that we're getting from the government, don't let it get you in a rut <laughs> where to you're balling right now. And then later on, it's going to kick you in your ass because <laughs> just because you got a little bit of money right now does not mean you know how money works, y'all. So mm-hmm. do us a favor, brother, and let Man. us know how does money work. Let's talk Man. about it, brother. It's it's different ways so many different ways you can utilize it like for instance in my uh my life insurance business what we do we show them how um first off we we do what we call i actually yeah i want to offer that uh we do offer a, what we call a financial needs analysis absolutely free to okay. anybody that reach out to me and what it is is a, just a sheet of form we go over your finances or your budget uh what do you have what you need you know uh and what you're trying to acquire and we do that absolutely free and then what i do uh, me and my team we create a strategy to help you get out of whatever situation you're in or whatever you acquire you know for is protecting yourself your assets your family we do all that so you know how money works man there's so many different ways uh give, give us three show, give us three of them we show, we show we show individuals like for instance uh, i'm gonna show, talk about a product the product okay. what we do what we offer is called iul it's an okay. index universal life insurance policy. So uh, how that works is 
uh, you're able to put money into a policy and you are able to grow tax free. I mean, yeah, tax free, you're able to grow. You got an interest rate that grows with it as well. And it's also protected by what we call <clears throat> 7702 Alpha, which is a tax code. Okay. So it's something just like a 401k. A 401k is a tax code. So I always recommend them an IUL as opposed to a 401k. So how IUL work is uh, you able to put money into account. It also come with life insurance. Uh, it also grows. And what it do, it mirrors the stock market. Mm -hmm. So as the stock market go up, so do that. So when these, when the stock market crashes, your money stay right there. So you nice. never lose money into what we call an IUL. Okay. Uh, it's protected by, like I said, the 7702. It's protected by the IRS tax code. So, you know, we show people how to actually use what the wealthy use. You know what I'm saying? That that we was never educated on. And the crazy part about it, just be this product been around for years. Wow! But they don't you tell know, us this been around for years, man. And and we just, we just was never educated on it. You know, right? And so that's why, man. Four years ago, I learned about this. I said, "Wow, man! Everybody should have this." You know, each one of my, each one of my kids, six of my kids, my boys, each one of them have one. And so, what they do, you're able to, you can actually, uh, actually inquire one on a kid 15 days after they're born. Oh wow! So you can have an investment strategy, an investment product uh, that grows every year. You know, based on the interest rate, and it's protected, so you'll never lose any money. And what I mean, you never lose any money is. It has a cap and a floor. So let's just say uh, the cap is 15%. Okay. So let's just the stock market went up to 18%. It stops at 15% because they got to make their money. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about it, what's most important is when the, when the stock market go down under zero negative, you still stop at 0. Uh, 0. 0.5%. Okay. So you never lose any all your gains or what you put into it. And you never lose it. So you, you everything that you have in there is protected. So that's the main thing. That's one of the reasons why I got into it. I okay. want to help families protect their assets. Because man, we work so hard, man, for it, man. Right. And, and I didn't I didn't <laughs> met a lot of people that lost so much money in their 401k, man. You know, it, man. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And yeah, and I'm talking about people that have been in the company for 30 years. Yeah, we talking uh, thousands and thousands of yeah. dollars. And and they ready to retire, man, and then all of a sudden, bam. And see, and, and why I'm so passionate about that because I experienced that. You know, right. I had a four hundred one k, and I was like, man, I'm finna take my money out. You know, I did like I said, uneducated, didn't know about it, and I had I think it was like about ten grand in there. Uh, right. I was staying in Louisiana at the time. I, I moved out here and I moved to Louisiana. And then I moved back. So when I moved back, I had some little cheddar in it in my little my little pot. So I'm like, hmm, let me get this money out. Help me with this move. Right. So, so I took 10 grand out and I got a check for like 6,000. I'm like, okay, they're going to send me the rest later. <laughs> send me the rest later. And they was like, no, that's what you get. And because, and so that's how I got familiar with how a 401k works. So what it was is they, they taxed me 10% penalty mm. because I got it out before 59 and a half. And it makes I sense. Makes sense. And I got taxed because of the state rate. So the state taxes was added on on top of that. Gotcha. So then that was about almost up to forty percent of my money. My money that I thought was mine. Right, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So so now and I at the time I didn't it didn't dawn on me. Like like I said, until I, I got into this business and I started learning it, the rules, how it works, how money works, and and I was like man so that's what happened when i took that money out i you know i shouldn't have took it out before 59 and a half right and, and i took all of it out too so i just just withdraw it all out and you know didn't know no better but i promise you this now i know that now. Money. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, that's my money get it here break bread you know yeah straight you up you but it's trying exciting, to get money man. Man. it's exciting man you know sure people showing people uh like i said how money works and you know, that's one of the products that we offer. Uh, that's one of the main products that we offer, man, that anybody can can utilize. Right. You know what, what, what's what's your favorite part 
uh, besides the fact of helping people, like what's your favorite part of the business to do? Favorite part of the business besides helping people? Yeah. And uh, protecting them. I you love know, that, the man. Results, man. The results is, is, is massive. That's what keep me going. Right. Um, you know, just helping another family, knowing that they protected in my life insurance part. And then on my credit part, man, when people coming back telling me, uh, man, look, my credit score went up. My daughter, she, her credit score went up 300 points, man. So I was like, you finna co-sign for me, right? No. <laughs> All right. Look, I, did, I need yeah. me a new studio. You know what I'm okay, saying? Right. <laughs> so, so that's what, and that's what keeps me going, man. Uh, just results, man, from, you know, testimonials from the business, man. Uh, you know, helping is cool. You know, but yeah. getting results is even is massive. You know, yes, sir. Everybody want results, man. I don't want you to tell me, yeah, this, yada yada, this that, but I ain't seen no results, man. Right. So, <laughs> Be like, oh so, man. <laughs> yeah. So getting the results, man, and the testimonies from people commenting and reaching out to me, let me know that, man. Okay, I got some stuff deleted. You know, I got this. You know, and, and it's a it's a big thing, man. And then. And then another thing too, as well, is the opportunity. Yeah, you know, I actually got my. Uh, they say if you're going to build an empire, man, start in your backyard. So yes, sir. And that's what I did, man. I got I got my wife on board. I got my uh, two daughters on board, and I got my son-in-law on board. So nice. You know, I'm finna like I'm just finna build an empire, man. Man, let's get you, you know? some money, man. man that's <laughs> what you know. Let's I, I definitely take it, do I, it. I take, I take it as when I came into the business, I came in as, uh, and they told me this. They say, which which hit you know, kind of hit me like, man, that make a lot of sense. They told me, uh, you ain't gonna make no money until you help somebody. Right. So when you start helping people, that's when you you know you're gonna make some money. You know, the money comes. The money gonna come, man. It's it's it, the money gonna come. Right. Just focus on helping. You know. Uh, Focus on solving people's problems, man. You know, supply and demand, man. You know, that's so beautiful, that's man. Hey, that's it seems like everything that you've been doing in your life, man, from all the way from 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 being a great husband, you know, twenty five years to um, raising not only uh, three of your biological children but six additional, brother. Yes, and sir. then and then helping with credit repair restoration. He big. Oh man, that's 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 beautiful, brother. And uh, yeah. again, man, it, it's. Hands down, man. I'm proud of you. Your I brother the brother. You know, your skin, you know what I mean? I'm proud of yeah. you, man. That's super dope. You know this show is all about being supportive of Not any and everybody that's trying to do something with themselves. Any and everybody that's trying to help someone else, brother. I, I respect you on a whole nother level now. I didn't know you like yeah. that at first. We was in BSN. I know, right? <laughs> and then yeah. you reached out and I was excited, man. We ended up having... I, I was having to deal with some technical difficulties, but no matter what, we, yeah. we continue communication and we got you on the show and you were yeah. able to deliver some, um, in my in my opinion, some excruciating information <laughs> that um, us as a people need, brother. Um, yeah, we got to have good credit. Like uh, like Donald said, guys and, yeah. and gals, like you have to have good credit. If you want to progress and, and get these loans that's needed to start businesses, as in maybe a podcast. Or, yep. or, you know, maybe to be do credit restoration like Donald um, or, or whatever it is, man. If you want to buy a home, a beautiful home for your family or even if you want to build a home for your family, you're going to need some type of credit yeah. somewhere, some way, somehow. So yep. do as Donald said and be credit conscious. Um, mm -hmm. Do what you got to do to make it happen, brother. We pretty much coming to the end of this particular episode. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to ask you, brother, I always ask everybody to do this on the Just Be Show, brother. Yes, if sir. you can give two pieces of information or two pieces of advice mm -hmm. um, from your field or just life in general to the audience or just anybody in the world, brother, whoever decides to watch this one day, what would it be? Man, for for as a business, if you ever get to a point where you're it's challenging and uh, you ready to quit, just remember why you started. Just remember why you got started, man. Uh, and that's going to kick it right back up. Uh, kick that momentum back up, you know. And, and you know, and then another one, never, like I said, never, I'm all about never give up, man. Uh, any adversity that you have that comes upon you, you know, that comes in your way, all they're doing is just building you for greatness, you know. So, you know, not, not, so now, 
So let's not just be good, man. Let's just be great. Let's go be great, man. So, you know, that's it, man. Let's be great, man. And I'm, I'm so humble, man, that you invited me out, man. I surely appreciate it, bro. Yes, man. I, I love great. what he said, y'all. He said, he said, um, man. Be great. Don't just be all right. Be great. Yeah, Yo, man. strive for greatness. And my man. favorite one was the first one you said, yeah. brother. When, when you feel like, when you don't feel like doing it no more, you just feel like giving up. Remember man. why you started. Man. You know, if, even as a podcast host, brother, yeah. there's times when I be like, dang, I got to sit down and, ah, <laughs> uh, hey, but soon as I remember why I do this and I jump yeah. on this mic and I throw these headphones on, brother, I'm in a zone. And and yeah. and I and I do remember why I did it, um, why I started the podcast, and it's to support beautiful beautiful souls like yourself, brother. So thanks yeah, again man. for coming on the show. Yes, um, sir. My my three things, everybody. If you just now tuned in to the Jess B Show, you don't know what it is, but you about to find out. Yes, and if sir. you uh, if you've been here before, uh, again, I thanks for watching again. And um, my my three pieces of advice. I'm gonna drop four today though, just because I got to throw a big one out there. Um, but number one is always remember to try to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate every single day. If you can do those three things, it'll be a life transformation over time. Believe me when I say that. I don't throw that out there just because it's my logo, my slogan. I live by it. Smile, laugh, and definitely motivate at least one time every single day. Number two is inspire one to inspire all. Mm. I'm going to try to inspire Donald the best as I can. Yeah. With hopes that he's going to get off and go and inspire somebody else. And then they're going to inspire somebody. And then eventually one day, man, the entire world is going to be inspired. And last but not least, y'all already know what it is. Let's drop it. And for today's episode, I just want to say, this is the very last one. Get your money up. Let's make some money, y'all. Contact yeah. my boy Donald Cunningham for all yes, of your credit services, please. Thanks again, Donald, for coming on. I love you, brother. Yes, and we out.